down. Encounters with law enforcement officers do not always lead to altercations. The behavior of an individual determines how they will be treated by the men and women of law. Step on down. Stop for you're gonna get tased. From someone with the tendency to run from officers to someone who actually tried to run away. Yeah, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. Watch as these individuals realize the law always treats everyone according to their actions. Here are some incidents where officers apprehend criminals with active warrants. Stop! Stop! The first incident is centered around Jason. On July 17th, 2022, in Marshfield, Wisconsin, an officer conducted a traffic stop in response to a vehicle that had disregarded a stop sign. Soon, it was found that Jason had a suspended driver's license and an active warrant. The officer informs Jason that he has disregarded a stop sign. He asks for his driver's license and documentation for the vehicle. Jason informs that his license was suspended. The officer told him he could not drive. Hi there. Hi. Officer Andrew, you stopped referring to the stop sign back there. What's the reason for that? I stopped. You did not stop at all. You may have been slowing down, but you're nowhere near stopping. Do you have driver's license proof insurance? Insurance and we're still waiting on, we're having problems with the insurance company. Okay, so it's not insured right now? Not right now. <clears throat> okay. But I don't know why. I see this says it's not a driver's license. Is that going to be accurate as well? Probably. I, I can, do, you, do you have a valid license? My fiance does. Okay, but you don't? Not right now. I'm in the okay. process of getting it. All right. What process is that? I filled the papers out and I'm just waiting for the state to reissue it. So you're revoked or suspended or what are you? I'm eligible to get it back. I was suspended at one point. Okay. Where are you coming from tonight? You went from the house. I was going to go, to, go out to Walmart to get some... Salad dressing. Okay. Salad dressing? Yeah. Your fiance can't do that? She's not feeling good. Oh, okay. Um, is she able to come pick you up? I'd have to go get her. Well, somebody's gonna come get you because I can't let you drive away from here, okay? So if you want to call whoever you got to call, um, work on that, okay? Okay. The officer goes back to his vehicle to conduct a background check on Jason. He finds that he has an active warrant. He informed Jason about his warrant. Jason instantly becomes non-cooperative. I can be last name. First name Jason. Date of birth is. I'm back suspended. Looks like he has a 99 through reference. That 99 is in hand. It's going to be for resisting or obstructing. Bond of 2500, and he'll need a new court date if he can manage to pay that. Just him? Yep. Did you get a hold of her? Yeah, there... I had to wake my grandma. Grandma, okay, come okay. Uh, you want to hop out of the car for me? May I ask why? Uh, because you have a warrant for your arrest. That was that was taken care of. It it was not. Why still? Jason, you need to step out of the vehicle. You have a warrant for your arrest through Wisconsin Rapids Police Department. I'm gonna ask you nicely to do so, otherwise we'll break a window and we'll remove you from then the vehicle. Then Mercer's paying for the window. We don't want to do that. All you have to do is open up your door. And why? because you have a warrant for your arrest. Jason tried to explain that the warrant was incorrect. The officer told him that he needed to follow their instructions. He asked him to exit the vehicle. Jason becomes argumentative with them. The thing is, that's bo it's a bogus warrant. What's he that? issued it for no reason. Why do you think it's for no reason? Because I, my fiance can even tell you. The warrant that they supposedly have on me was for resisting an officer. Yep. I never struck the officer. I never resisted. Resisting or obstructing is what it is. So I never did any of it. Okay. Here's the deal though, Jason. If you refuse to get out of your vehicle and we have to forcefully remove you from the vehicle, you will be resisting. You'll get additional criminal charges for resisting. I don't want to give you those charges. I'm sure you don't want those, right? Jason, there's a proper way of, of disputing criminal charges and this is not the right way by refusing to get out of the car, okay? It's just going to make the situation worse. I never got a citation. Hey, Jason, that, that's between you and the Wisconsin Rapids Police Department? Yeah. You've been decent with me. I think I've been decent with you, right? I'm just trying to avoid a big headache and a lot of paperwork, okay? You don't want more criminal charges. I don't want to give them to you. Can you please just step out of the vehicle and you can resolve uh, that situation? I will once my fiance gets here. Okay, that's not how this works. Okay, so please grab your phone and, and anything else you'll need and step on out, okay? This is Jason. I don't 
care. Okay, it is what it is. You guys don't even care. If I if I didn't care and I just wanted you to get more charges, the window would be broken. You'd be pulled out of the vehicle. I don't want it to go that way. I'm asking you, just please step out yeah, so, so we can deal with cuffs. this. It's part of the gig, okay? No, it's not. You, you're going to be under arrest for a warrant. You have to go in handcuffs. Jason asked if there was any alternative to getting arrested. The officer informs that he could pay his bonds. The officer tried to defuse the situation by reasoning with Jason. Did you let her know you're getting arrested? Yeah, I told her. There has to be a way to settle this without having to be transferred down. That, okay, there is. Do you have $2,500? How much? $2,500 is what the bond is. Even if you're able to post that, we still have to go to the police department, so you're still going to be placed into handcuffs and transported until then, okay? Do you have a $2,500 bond? My grandparents might. Okay. But uh, I don't know until they get here. So Jason, I will give you an opportunity to call them and figure that out, but you have to step out of the vehicle, okay? Can I at least call them before I step out? You're going to step out and then we can call them. If you don't step out, then you're going to be transported to the jail and then you can make phone calls, okay? I'm going to be transported to the in jail. Jason's fiance arrives at the scene. Jason finally exits his vehicle. However, he refused to follow the officer's instructions. When the officer tried to apprehend Jason, he instantly became combative and tried to run on foot. Okay, step on out. Can you, can you dim that light? You're gonna step on out. I can't even see. Set your stuff on the seat for right now. Seriously? Set the stuff on the seat for right now. Stop. Go ahead, call. Brody, step back up here. Stop. No! Put your stuff on the seat. That's my fiance. Okay, step on down. Stop or you're gonna get tased. You're gonna get tased, you're gonna get tased right? You're gonna get tased. The officers ran after Jason, while a third one updated dispatch on the situation. Jason circles back to his vehicle. One of the officers deploys a taser on him. The officers finally handcuffed Jason. His fiance is instructed to get inside her vehicle or she will also be arrested. Stop! Stop! Okay, I'm gonna get you! I'm gonna get you! You're not gonna win! You're not gonna win! Stop! Get out of the ground! Get over. deployed. Get in the car! Don't move. Can I get, Don't can move. Get that off my foot. Don't move. Put your other hand back here. Get inside your car or you're getting arrested. One of the officers ordered the fiance to leave the scene. The officers then helped Jason to get on his feet. On their way to a police cruiser, Jason requests a new pair of shorts. Okay. Roll on your side. Ow. 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 Before we check, you got anything on you that you shouldn't have? No. I just want to get my. Don't foot. talk. Don't talk right now. You need to leave the area, ma'am. My van's there. You're gonna leave the area for right now. What am I gonna do with my van? He has my keys, my phone, my stuff. You're gonna leave the area for right now until he's in custody. Then we can discuss it. You guys are always this rough. On your side. I'm trying. Right. So don't put it on your butt. You have a probe though. Uh, no. can someone grab that? All right, so one probe right there. Where's the other one? I don't know. I only felt one. Did you see him? Can I at least have my shoes? Where are your shoes at, dude? Uh, I have no idea. All right, so I'm gonna pull these out. It's gonna be a quick pinch, so I'm gonna hold your skin back so it doesn't pull them and pull them out, okay? Okay, go. You got all the probes in there? I got two probes, yep. All right, stand up. On your knees and stand up. Uh, yeah, you know how hard that is? Right. One, two, three. Oh, we got it. I have a question. As we so walk squad car. Would it be possible to change your boxers so I'm not sitting in I don't think I ended up myself. I can't move. I'm moving. Ow, ow. Can, is, can I stand on regular concrete? 
I'm going to get stung. I'm going to get you in that car in a second. Are you injured? I have vertigo. Are you injured? I don't know. Okay. All I know is I need a new pair of boxers. Why is that? Mind it. Myself. Okay. Is there an emergency blanket we can put down? An officer informed him that he would be charged with resisting for his actions. One of the officers suspected that he may have thrown something during the chase. He was then placed inside a cruiser. Jason was taken to the hospital. After being cleared by doctors, he was taken to jail for his warrants. Well, Jason, now you're getting those resisting charges you talked about, okay? Are you missing any property? Yeah. I think they're in the grass uh, going around the building. All right, take a seat. Can I at least kneel? No. With having vertical? I can end up losing my bandage real quick. Would I'll someone use I will. Yeah, when... these band-aids here. Oh. Can someone grab my other arm to hold that side up so I don't fall over? Yep. Okay. What'd you throw? Okay. What did you throw? Nothing. Put your left foot in. That's what I'm trying. Right foot all the way in. I know. I'm trying to catch my breath. Sit back all the way. Look away from me. He was cited for operating while suspended, no vehicle insurance, and failure to stop at a stop sign. He was charged with resisting and obstructing an officer. He was sentenced to two years of probation. While Jason was at least able to go on a short jog, our next individual was not given the chance to exit his vehicle. But before that, let's see what happens when someone shows more maturity than those double their age. Is your car? Yes. I just had bought it, that's why it doesn't have a license plate or anything on it. The next incident revolves around 19-year-old Rain Birdsey. On May 11, 2023, in Roswell, New Mexico, officers initiated a conversation with Rain. They discovered that she had a warrant for failing to appear in court due to a previous no driver's license charge. The officers approached Rain and informed her about her warrant. She denied knowing about it. She said that she was going to take care of it. She added that she was planning on getting a payment plan for the fine. You have a warrant. I do? Yeah. I did not know that. Neither did we. Right Probably my failure to appear at court, but I've been working a lot and I was going to go and pay it off. Yeah. Um, I was going to talk to the judge and stuff about it later on today because I am currently moving mm -hmm. and I got all my stuff in the car. Is this your car? Yes. I just had bought it. That's why it doesn't have a license plate or anything on it. She informed that she was planning on the payment plan as she could not afford to lose her job. She exclaimed without it, she would be unable to pay for the warrant. She said that she missed her court date. So I was going to go and head over there uh, after I was done here. And then I was going to go and talk to him about probably a payment plan because I can't really afford to lose this job at the moment. Because they didn't put it on the ticket or anything. But I was just gonna go up in there and see what I can do so I didn't like lose my job and didn't have to like go to jail or anything for the warrant. But I did miss my court date, so I was gonna go and talk to the judge. Um She asked the officers if she was going to jail. They told her they would check if she had a warrant first. They talked to her to confirm her ID. She also explained her social security number had an issue. Yeah, I just I just haven't had the chance to go and get it done yet because I've been working. You happen to have shoes? I do. They're in my car. Are you all right? Can you grab them? Yeah, you can go ahead and grab them from the front. You uh, guys are going to take me to jail. We'll um, verify where the warrant's through and what it's for, and then we'll go from there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, they're just right here in the front seat. No. The last four of my. Want to see it? Uh, yeah. Where is it at? It's right there, where my wallet is. Okay. Her phone wallet. Yeah, that Will one right there. Yeah, that's fine. So we open it. Yeah, that's fine. Here's this. I've been to jail once for a battery. I have my ID. 
I was in jail for a battery against a household member because my ex said I beat the crap out of him. And when I was in there, they had some issues of putting my social into the computer. Uh -huh. It brought up that I was a middle-aged white man, 160 pounds, and the social was wrong and everything. And I tried to help them fix it, but I guess they couldn't. An officer asked Rain to show them proof that she worked at a business. She said that she might have a check from the establishment as payment. Rain failed to locate it. However, she showed the officers an app that shows the employees. Credentials or anything like that stating that you work at Popeyes? I don't actually. I don't know what that means. Like a check stub or something? Or you? In my wallet, there's my check stub that I had gotten yesterday from Popeyes. And that was one of my coworkers over there who was over here a minute ago. Yeah. I think it's this little. Oh, shoot. No, where is it at? I thought I had it in here. I had the check stubs together. I thought I did. Sabina? Do you mind if I look in my backpack real quick? See if it's in here. I have my crew app and stuff that I can show you that I do work there. Your what? My crew app on my phone. Rain said that she did not know she had a warrant. She claimed she heard about it for the first time from the officers. She asked the officers if there was any alternative to her getting arrested. They told her there was no alternative and proceeded to handcuff her. Abby, I didn't know I actually had a warrant. Uh -huh. um, I don't get all my mail at my apartment over here. So this is my first time hearing about it. Like right now? Yeah. Oh, um, it probably is in my PO box the letter or whatever you guys send out, yeah, well, but I don't, don't go over there. Does, but... Like, you guys can escort me down there to make sure I get there and talk to them and everything, I just... Yeah. Typically, like, if it was through municipal court, that's something that we could work out, but through magistrate, they're a little bit more strict on how they do it. And the warrant's been out for 41 days. So, so. Like I said, like, you knew about it, you told us beforehand that you had a warrant, and you haven't done nothing about it to go figure it out. You've got plenty of Plenty of time to go down there. Yeah, I, I have plenty of time, but I've been working 24-7. You're going to jail today. All right. Okay. But you will have a bond. All right, go ahead and turn around. Can't stand your back. Will you please try to do something and try to get the money? Do you want me to give her the cash that you have in here? No, I don't need it. Hey, call Robert. I will. Please. Pretend like you're praying. Rain was arrested due to her failure to appear in court in connection to her previous no driver's license charge. She pleaded guilty and agreed to pay the fine. As mentioned before, now we will see how officers took all precautions to prevent this individual from running. The third altercation is caused by Dion Pfiffer. On February 23rd, 2023 in Key West, Florida, Dion was noticed at a traffic light. He had active warrants and was known to run from cops. Several officers soon arrived at the location. Multiple officers surround Dion's vehicle. He is brought out of the vehicle by the officers. They then immediately handcuffed him. They also searched him for contraband. He tried to explain that he was wearing a seat belt and thus couldn't exit the vehicle initially. The officers informed him that he had an active warrant. They also said that they quickly apprehended him because he tended to run from law enforcement. I was dead. I was dead. I was dead. Come on, that's crazy, man. Can, can I get up with Stop it? Moving. Stop moving. Bro, Stop. Come on, I'm, I'm, I'm a handcuff, sir. I'm not resisting the hand. I want to get off the floor. Can I sit up like, like a human being? 
Um, I have a card right here. Cast um, it up at least off behind him. As soon as they're walking. done, they're gonna see That's you. That's all right. There's no problem. No, look, I got that one buried. You got a warrant. All right, I have a warrant. That's no problem. Let him finish. I'm running from you all. Who the fuck? Well, we know you like to run, that's right. I went out around from y'all. I got one running cars. I don't got no, I don't got no fleeing and looting cars. Any time you have the hell, I got my shoes on? I will get your shoes, I will get your shoes, okay? Dion was then placed inside a police cruiser. Once inside, he started to complain about the number of police officers who arrived to arrest him. An officer recalled a previous altercation where he ran on foot from them. Y'all can say, get a car, get a warrant. Okay, no problem, officer. Watch your head when you get in. Watch your head. Thank you, bro. Y'all, I'm resisting from y'all, man. Y'all, y'all, slam the floor, everything about nothing. Damn, the fuck, y'all, I'm running for y'all. Come on, come forward for me. Lay forward, how forward, how forward you want me to lay? Do the best you can. I say try. I'm asking a simple question. Officer, I'm not, I'm not even mad. Okay. If I got a warrant, I got a warrant. That's, that's no problem. What the fuck? Y'all came one, two, three, four, five, six, seven cars deep. Because you like to run, buddy. I, I like to run. You like to. I run. like to run. Which cars do I have a fleeing and you looter? When have I ever ran from anything? On foot, you ran from. On foot, I ran. That's a fleeing and looter, right? No, that's just resisting. That's so I have, I have, I have. Oh, all right. As resistance, I have zero resistance arrest charges. Okay. So how I like to run? The officers then searched Dion's vehicle. They were able to locate his ID. They immediately noticed a suspicious substance. The officers also discussed how they were able to successfully apprehend him. I don't know how this mic is still working, but hey, you see it on the video, it's battle tested. Battle tested, all right. Dion Pfeiffer. You want me to get up in here in the Short back? thing, short thing. They just went to public. Correct. Suspicious white substance, but did you? Not. I left my flashlight in my car. JT, yep. you had a flashlight? Oh, yeah. For some reason, I like a more a felony stop. Go in the other direction, and I was get going around a car to come in, and it just happened to work out. Yeah, I was like, damn, is he gonna just turn on north side? I was hoping you were gonna, cause like yeah, he had to have seen all of us behind him. <laughs> no, sorry, pull that up for you. Dime. You unlocked your car so I can move it out of the third lane? Yeah. You need me to move that one? That's mine. No, you're good. The officer inquires about a young girl who was with Dion. Another officer informs him that the mother has arrived to pick her up. They also discuss that she was not in any trouble. Is anybody with that girl? I don't even see her. Did she? Did mom come to pick her up? Yep, I talked to mom. She can go on right now. Did she ask who she was with? Yeah. You she, told her? Yeah. What'd she say? She's like, oh, I know that name. He's it's like a 30-something year old man. Bro. There's no reason he should be with her. No reason at all he should be with her. Is she crying? No. She's not in any trouble, so I don't think this is going to change anything for her. Yeah. Dion was arrested for his pre-existing warrant. No new charges were brought up against him. While Dion would have run if given the chance, our final individual was calm and cooperative and was even able to get some assistance from the officers due to his good behavior. All right, here, step down here, man. You got a warrant for your arrest. All right, yeah. The final story is centered around Sean. During the chilly nights of November, a Columbus, Ohio police officer checked the number of a parked vehicle. He soon discovered that the owner had a warrant for domestic violence. The officer immediately located Sean inside a gas station. The officer locates Sean and asks for his identification. He informed him that he had a warrant for his arrest. He then proceeded to handcuff him. Sean told the officer he did not know about the warrant. Hey, what's your name, bud? Sean. Wait, want to see my ID? Yeah. 
Is the car yours? Yes, it is. It's registered to you? Yes, it is, sir. It's, it's, it's. All right, here, step down here, man. You got a warrant for your arrest. All right, yeah. Put your palms together. Drop that stuff. Drop it. I'll get it. Palms together. Interlace your fingers. Look, I'll verify it in a minute. But for right now, fair enough, man. When I'm one, one detained. We'll get those in one second. Walk over here. The officer then escorted Sean to a police cruiser. On their way to the cruiser, the officer informed him that the warrant was issued due to a domestic violence case. Sean inquired if the warrant was for his son. Saying the registered owner has a, uh, I'm down for a second here. Face this way. You got anything on you? He's going to stick me and poke me? All right. Says they got a warrant for domestic violence, all right? Domestic violence? Again, I'll, I'll, I'll clear it up to be sure. It's not my son? Is it, is it your car or your son's car? No, it's my car. Here, stay. Here, spread your legs. Yeah. It could be. It's possible. No, I'm just saying. No, sir. It, it, it was. I didn't have no, I don't even have a girlfriend. All right. I don't even have a girlfriend. Here. Walk over here. Fair enough. The officer explained how they check vehicle license plates and how they ding about warrants for the owner. He was then placed inside the police cruiser. The officer said that he would verify the warrant to see if it was valid or not. Here's the deal. Like when when we run tags and they pop up with a warrant, sir, it's always right it's now. always sir, for the registered sir. owner. That's that's all but I'm saying. I, it's my car. I'm showing to. Okay. Here. Just have a seat. Wait a minute. Let me make sure your cuffs are double locked so they don't cinch up when you any. Give me one second. I can't right now. Give me just one second, man. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here, lift your hands off your back. All right. I'm going to verify it. If it's no good, we'll get you out of here. Have a seat. But why would it be good? Again, it's to the registered owner and it's male black. That's all I know at this point. All right. Let me check it. What's your first and last name? Sean. I'm sorry, your last name? Sean. Okay. All right. Watch yourself. address is going to be 623 South Harris. He then checked for the warrant. He confirmed that the warrant was issued in Sean's name. Meanwhile, Sean was adamant that he had a warrant. Upon his insistence, the officer further looked into the details of the case. Yep, absolutely. Well, here's the deal though, if it's not even for you, you Sean Middleton, date of birth, what's your date of birth? All right. Yeah, I mean it's 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 popping up as your name, man. Twenty twenty one, date of warrant. Um, this is his car, this Nissan. Um, anyone else? I don't know. My date the cops just pulled me over and said I got a domestic violence. I don't even. I don't even have my. You want to get his phone off of him now? He, I just patted him down and threw him in there. Let me let me confirm it, man. All right. They say that they about to confirm. Can you check with me, Mark? Cause they about to it's stop me. Dropped in July. Take my my phone. Hey, so it's coming back that he has a one nine one deletes. So we're gonna match your. And is, tell me this. Is it my age? Because he has a DV out right now. Is it my age? Yeah, I mean, unless your son has the exact same birthday, even the year as you, no, which that's not possible. What is the, um, what's your, give me a second. What's your social? What, um, where do you live at? Yeah, that's the address for the warrant, too. What's your middle name? Middle name? Yeah. I don't know. They're verifying it now, man. All right. Well, who? I don't understand who I would have a domestic violence. Well, here's the deal. I got to look it up. I got to read the report, and then I would I would Mirandize you and, and talk to you about it. All right. As soon as they verify the warrant, either if the warrant's verified, I'm going to take you out. I'll search you. I'll adjust the cuffs, and if it's not good, then I'll obviously just take them off. Look at a warrant on our computer. It it's considered a possible warrant. And to verify a warrant, we have to call the clerk's office. It's, uh, it's and, good. Yeah, and they will go and pull the actual paper file to see if there's a, a warrant that's good or not. Because sometimes it shows as good. Please be advised, and I'll on hold with the clerk. 
Copy. Thank you, man. The officer explained the process of confirming warrants. He then read him his Miranda rights. He also informed him that if the warrant was wrong, he would be free to go. He then asked him some basic questions. Hey, CJ, you want to come around here just to witness this? Oh, sir, I'm not going to do anything funny. I'm not going to try anything. You gotta no, 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 me. just witness oh. me reading your rights to you. Oh, yeah. oh okay. Okay, so, all right, Sean. So here's the deal. All right, I'm still waiting on them to verify the warrant, but it looks good in our system. So I'm just kind of getting a, getting the ball rolling on things, okay? And then if it's no good, cuffs come off and you're free to go. But either way, I'm just going to read you your rights. If you want to talk to me, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. I, I read the report. In front of a judge, right? Uh, what's well, that? Right? Or, do you, or, or, or could y'all make a decision to help me? Now? No, I can't make a decision, no. but okay, I mean, but I'm saying, got... but, but the warrant was filed. You weren't there. So I, it would complete the report to give your side. It's up to you. But let me just read this to you here real quick, all right? If you want to, you can read along. Before we ask you any questions, you must understand your rights. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. You have the right to talk to a lawyer for advice before we ask you any questions. You have the right to have a lawyer with you during questioning. If you're unable to pay a lawyer, a lawyer will be appointed for you prior to any questioning, if you so desire. If you wish to answer questions now without a lawyer present, you have the right to stop answering at any time. You also have the right to stop answering at any time until you talk to a lawyer. Do you understand those rights? Yes. Sir. I got to ask you some of these basic questions. I read, just got to read them as they're written. You speak English? Yes, I do. Some of them are painfully obvious. Highest grade you completed? Uh, I actually completed high school in uh, end of the year of college. Sir. Okay. You can read and write? Yes, sir. Any hearing trouble? No, sir. Do you wear glasses or contacts? Yes, sir. I wear glasses. Glasses? Very All right. You consuming any alcohol within the last 24 hours? No. Any drugs in the last 24 hours? No. Okay. The dispatch confirmed that the warrant was correct. They added that there would be no bond. Sean is then searched for any contraband. During the search, a small amount of marijuana was found on Sean. Go ahead. Okay, that case number is going to be 9191-21. Yeah, it's good. It's for TV and assault. And it is going to be good, no bond. They're going to huh? go ahead and send that paperwork down to the pipe. You have to see a judge for them to set bond in domestic violence cases. So I'm so sorry for this. Man. It's all right, man. Um, all right, give me one second. So what are we doing now? I got. I'm going to pull you out. I'm going to search you, mm -hmm. and uh, and then I got to do a little bit of paperwork, and then we got to run you through ID into the jail. All okay, right. Okay. Could I call and see my baby mama come pick the car? All right. Go ahead and step out. Oh. Over here to your left. You ain't got anything on you poke me or anything like no, that? No, okay. No, no, so you can definitely search. Right. Oh, man, you do how much it costs to get your cars out of toes? I don't, no, to be I'm honest with you. I think it's somewhere in the realm of one to one fifty, but I'm not entirely sure. No, my. All right, that bounced another tire. I'll get it in a second. All right, lift your arms off your back just a little bit. All right, stand here, spread your legs for me. Right there, perfect. Yeah, no, I mean, I agree with you. You seemed, you seemed legit about it. I just, yeah, I, I think you legit didn't know. No, you're good. Yeah. All right, man. So listen, what, what's that? It's a baggie. Is it weed? Yes. Listen, here's what we're going to do. Is it just weed? Yes. Sir. Due to Sean's cooperation and calm demeanor, the officer allowed him to contact his girlfriend to collect his vehicle instead of towing it. He was again put inside the cruiser afterward. But listen to me, and this is this is real important. Uh, if Is that all that's on you? Because when you go down to the jail for something as stupid as a bag of weed... Hey, listen. Listen, all right. Here's the deal, man. 
if it doesn't take like we can't wait here forever but do you think there's someone that could actually bring your girlfriend here to get your car Huh? Oh, no, no, I think it's on my head. Uh, yeah, um, yeah, I told you that I can call her and have, have her do that. Does she have someone? Yes. That'd be able to? Yes, her son. Okay, so listen, is she, does her son live with her there? Yes. Okay. So it's something that we can wait like, like 15, 20 minutes for a while and knock out the paper. But if they can't be here in that amount of time, call her real quick, yeah, sir, please, yeah, listen, so listen to me right though. Now. I'm just saying there's a short window of time. You've been real cool with us. All right, so it's just as a favor to you, I'm willing to just release the car in lieu of in lieu of um, impounding it if they can get here. But if they can't get here in a short amount of time, we got to impound it. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, and then there's that one up front. Not on. That, that's not okay. on. I just used that okay. for my music. And, and All right. Have a seat. Watch your head. Oh. Sean was arrested for his domestic violence warrant. If you enjoyed today's stories and want to see more, don't forget to hit the subscribe button.